Afternoon guys, this is a Lexus RX 400H. Um, it's a 55 plate, but this is from 2003 to 2009. What we're going to do is remove all the rear boot trays and liners so you could get to either wiring up a bypass for a tow bar kit or bring cables through to wire up a sub or however else you want to do it so firstly put your hand right to the back of the boot uh, basically there's some poppers five or six along the back of your carpet if you just feed your fingers into the back and pull these up um, I will just let you know I've already taken everything apart but I'll explain it it's only for the fact it's so much quicker video so as you can see once you've pulled all the poppers up, three, four, five, like I said. Um, just behind these poppers, you'll see there is one hinge here and two hinge there. So all you're going to need is a 12mm ratchet socket, um, basically. 12mm, as we said. There's my ratchet. And basically, you just undo both of them counterclockwise. This here, you can then grab hold of to pull all the tray out. Once that tray is out, there is on the left side one little plastic popper and on the right one little plastic popper. So all you need is one of these tools here or you can use a flat headed screwdriver like most people. So once you've removed those poppers, um, I haven't got any out, I don't think. And, uh, there we go. So basically, that's what they look like. Once you've pulled them out, this tray then comes completely out. Next step is, there is another two 12 mil nuts on the back of the hinge here for the front access panel. So basically you undo those two first with your 12 mil, nice and simple. Press your popper, which mine isn't working because I've already undone it. So what I'll do is I'll just undo the other side, which you're gonna have to do anyway. So, nextly your other one pops up so that's where it stays because you've still got your front two bolts in this side which is 12 mil already right nextly you have another two little poppers there and there they need to be pulled out and then what you can do is you push your button in and then your tray comes up slightly quite hard with one hand so you do exactly the same the other side push it in and then your whole front tray comes out once that's out you've got two 12 mil bolts there that's the whole inside and this whole flat panel can come out once that's out basically you've got another popper here which pops out another one here which you'll have to do and one the other side which is all saying which is on the right side then this plastic tray here literally just pops up push your little buttons in again so you don't rip them off One, two, and then that just pulls out nice and simple when you've got two hands to play with. Right, and then last but not least, basically, you'll have a little plastic nut. I was able to undo mine with my hand, but I'd imagine it's probably 14 or 15 mil, maybe a 13, but I doubt it. So basically, that is located in there. You unscrew that anti-clockwise, and then your tray then pulls out once it's out of the locating pin 
and then to do the other side exactly the same you would undo these four bolts the four at the back and then take out your plastic poppers and then this side of your tray on the right side pops out in order for you to either wire some wiring for your subs um, or tow bar bypass which I've put in as well today um, and basically all I've done is wired my cables up through this panel drilled a hole through the back so you can't see them um, and then I'll be putting my high to low converter on and then connecting it to my sub okay thanks for watching any questions give us